Assembling the Google AIY Kit, part one. Start off by making sure that you have everything in the kit. You'll also need a Raspberry Pi 3 and a little micro SD card for it. Start by placing the little plastic standoffs into the two holes that are opposite the 40 pin connector. Next, place the voice hat on top. Line up the sockets with the pins and the other two holes with the standoffs, and then snap them together. Use some force, but remember to be gentle too. Next, grab your speaker and plug it into the screw terminals with the red power wire on the left. Then screw the terminals down and give it a little tug to make sure it's tight. Next, grab the 6-pin connector and attach it to the microphone board as well as to the Pi. Make sure to line up the arrows on the connector with the slots in the socket, and then place the 4-pin connector. Next, fold up your cardboard according to the instructions. It's a little complicated, but stick with it. Fit the speaker, and then place the Pi. One of these side tabs is going to go behind the USB sockets on the Pi, so that it all fits. And just leave the rest of it just sort of dangling out. <laughs> Place the speaker on top and slide it into the main box, making sure that the speaker lines up with the array of seven holes. It's a tight squeeze, but you can do it! Then make sure that all the sockets line up with the holes in your cardboard. This means it's aligned correctly. The next thing you're going to do is place the arcade button on the top. Make sure that the ring and spacer are on the inside, and then connect the switch with the lantern attached to it. Give it a quick turn to lock it onto the little plastic nubbins inside the main button housing. Note that you're not locking onto the white tabs there, but instead the clear plastic nubs. Next, place the microphone assembly and scotch tape it in place. You want to make sure that the holes on the microphones line up with the holes in the box. I actually removed the bottom of the button again so that we could attach the crimped wires without damaging anything. Finally, fold up the rest of your box and you're good to go! Many thanks to our data scientist Semi for helping me assemble this. And check out part two which comes up next!